Hi, this is Eric for Ochoy. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with adaptive sampling in Octane for Maya. And for this video, I'm using the Space Cantina Interior 01.MA scene. So this is a, a good scene to use because it has a lot of problem areas. We've got a lot of uh, an uneven lighting arrangement as well as a lot of dark areas of shadows and then some reflective surfaces. Now, some of these highlights, of course, can be eliminated using the imager node. So let's take a look at that real quick. I'm going to open up the render settings and go to the Octane Render tab, and then let's create a new Imager node. And I'm going to lower the Hot Pixel Removal setting. So lower this is, the more the Hot Pixels of the bright fireflies will be eliminated. If you make it too low, of course, the render will get soft, so you want to kind of balance that out. So now let's take a look at adaptive sampling. The adaptive sampling settings are found in the kernel settings. So I'm going to go into the render settings, click on this arrow to open up the kernel settings. And down here we'll see adaptive sampling. So right now my max samples is set to 5,000. I'm going to turn on enable adaptive sampling. So Octane is making an estimate of the noisiness of the image while it's rendering. And when the, this estimate of a pixel becomes less than the noise threshold value, then the sampling will be switched off on that area so that Octane can concentrate on another area. So it's a more efficient way of rendering. So there's a great way to visualize how this works. We can go into the render settings and I'm going to create a passes node. And let's expand beauty passes and turn on noise. So this one right here, and let's set the preview pass to noise. Now you see these green areas indicate the places where Octane is no longer sampling. So it's moved on for those areas. So let's go back into the kernel settings. And we can lower this threshold. I'm going to lower the minimum adaptive sampling samples. This basically means this is the minimum number of samples that is achieved before adaptive sampling kicks in. So I set this down to 100. And let's do this. Okay, yeah, that'll restart it. So the pixel grouping just determines how it's grouping the pixels that will be sampled. So while the noise pass is rendering, you want to adjust the noise threshold and the minimum adaptive samples to kind of balance out the amount of sampling is taking place. So generally less green more means that there's more adaptive sampling going on. So you want to kind of balance this out with render time as well as the quality of the image that you're shooting for. But that's the basic idea of working with adaptive sampling in Octane for Maya.